prosecution's 39th witness, Dr. Primulapati Jayakrishnan, who is a forensic chemist at the Pataling Jaya Chemistry Department, revealed the much-awaited DNA analysis results on Thursday. Dr. Primulapati testified that much of the evidence contained DNA sequence that can be matched to Altantuya. Blood stains found on a pair of slippers, a wristwatch, earrings and a ring, among others, were confirmed to have DNA sequence that matched the victim's mother, Altan Tsetseg Sonia. DNA analysis of specimens of skeletal remains, a piece of bone and pieces of tissues retrieved from the murder site also matched the DNA sequence of the victim's family. Dr. Primulapati was also questioned by Deputy Public Prosecutor Noreen Badarudin on the conclusiveness of DNA matching. DPP Noreen asked if the donor was just Altantuya's father, would the forensic chemist still be able to conclude that the donor of the tissue and bone is the biological daughter of Sharibu Setep? To this, Dr. Primulapati replied that the range would still be of 99%. Nevertheless, a turf of hair produced in court did not match the DNA of Altantuya's family members. It also did not match the DNA of Raza Baginda, Chief Inspector Azila Hadri, Corporal Cyril Azar Omar, or Lance Corporal Rohaniza Ruslan. Hearing continues Friday.